half the issue that we are dealing with at the moment is that people have lost that ability to have fun. Like, you know, you've only got a, a short amount of time on this planet, seriously. Like, you know, do you really want to be super serious about absolutely everything and like just forget that, you know, you're actually designed to laugh and to enjoy yourself and it's really good for you chemically to do that and stuff. And it's, um, yeah, but it's, it's almost, I feel like it's almost like sort of beaten out of us the older we get, you know, like we forget how to have fun. That's really deep observation and, and something I've, I've seen as well. If you were to, if you were to guess, what do you think is the, like, why do you think people are like not doing, not having fun? Why are people taking life so seriously? Why? Um, I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know. They, they, they're isolated. Uh, they, uh, they lack community. They, they're fearful of what people think. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Those, those are three great reasons. I, I think maybe, maybe another one could be like, I was, I was learning about, there's this, this concept called you know, regulating the nervous system. And a lot of people might, may have dysregulated nervous system, which kind of like gets them stuck in like this fight or flight mode where taking everything really seriously. And yeah, some combination of all those factors seems to be really limiting people's, you know, inner child or, or sense of playfulness. I think that one makes a lot of sense because if you think like, you know, maybe the older you get, the more responsibility you have and then the more worries you have, like, you know, like now you got to pay tax and you've got to fill in this tax uh, uh, return that you have no, no clue what you're doing, but you, and you feel bad for doing it because they make you feel bad for doing it. And, you know, then you get a, I don't know, something else in the, the post, like a fine or whatever the story is. And you're like, Oh yes. Yeah. I, I, you know, that's not me. I'm not that type of person. But then it like sort of, like you said, it's it sort of um, almost suffocates you and you you start losing that that essence of, of who you are because you, you have these micro anxieties that you kind of worry about. And maybe that takes the fun out of you. That's a great point. Yeah. And you can even, even add in the, the piece that we spoke about before with, well, the two pieces we spoke about before, like the lack of gratitude and then also the tech like the lack of sleep and then even with that technology the overwhelm of information but also the characteristic of that information oftentimes is just is the news getting you to be afraid of things where you know you've got these large organizations that are just bombarding bombarding us with fear porn essentially just trying to get more clicks trying to scare you as much as possible so that they can make more money like their business model is is predicated on just spooking people out so you've got the you've got that you know on top of it it's yeah there's so much working against us and i, I do believe that the foundation of, of a high quality of life is tapping into that inner child and that sense of playfulness and that's just it's so key it's been so key for my mental health and i hope to somehow spark that in, in more people and that's yeah that that's a, a really powerful way to look at life in my opinion